So this coronavirus is uh, hitting a lot of people in the pocket. Um, small would, businesses especially. Yeah, small businesses, yeah. big time. Mm-hmm. Fortunately, uh, Mark Cruz. Mark Cruz? Uh, yeah, Cruiser. Wow. He's at... Uh, Rochdale legend. Bank of Queensland, Windsor. And uh, they've been absolutely superb with me. Uh, really looked after the whole repayment, so the, the loans, they've, they've frozen them. Uh, credit card interest um, is going to be delayed. Wow. So, well, you know, we, we've been fortunate in, in my respect, um, but I would probably urge anyone with a small business mm. or anyone who needs financial help mm. to get yourself to Bank of Queens or Windsor, go and see Cruiser. Give him a shout. Yeah. yeah. Tough times ahead. It's probably only going to get worse, so the faster the better. Probably. Yeah. The sooner you get in there and mm. see him, get yourself set up, I think it's, um, it's probably going to be for the best. So, yeah, Mark Cruz, Bank of Queensland, Windsor. Uh, get yourself in and, and get sorted. 100%. Look after yourself. Aguero! Sí! Oh! Messi! Messi! Are you kidding me? Oh! This man is a... I swear you'll never see anything like this ever again. It's ecstasy. Astonishing. This is not just a dream. It's a wet dream of orgasmic proportions. It belongs... In a different galaxy altogether. Hello and welcome to part two, or the second half of episode six of the uh, the subs bench. It's been a long day in uh, <laughs> in the studio, and um, it's a toasty. <laughs> yeah, it is a little bit warm in here. No aircon, yeah. but uh, um, so we got no guest. We just got. Yeah, we've been blanked, haven't we? Really? We got Nabby back. We got, we got Nabby back. back. Welcome back, Nabby. A bit more of a tan, trying to chase Timmy, and Z- even Xander's looking a bit brown now, too. <laughs> when he's tying his surfboard on his roof. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think uh, we'll we'll probably just, I suppose, chat a bit of shit about the local league and how it started. We, we mm. touched upon it, I think, a couple of episodes ago, but. Um, yeah, obviously we, we touched upon, I think, Gold Coast Knights and Lions had a good start of the season. Uh, looking at the other end, um, mm. Redlands looked, you know, oh, they, they looked buried, dead and buried money. after three games they and then did. they bounced back with two wins. So yeah. um, it just goes to show if you do a little bit of work on the training ground and mm. knuckle down, I suppose you can turn it around. So oh. how are we looking? Do you reckon at the bottom of the, the MPL? I think Wanderers are in big, big trouble, personally. Mm. Yeah, that game against Doggy is far out. Even yeah. even crazy. That that was in the bag. Yeah. Yeah. Even Redlands like they were tough. They're t- like, tough to beat up there, and they just got rolled. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Speaking about Redlands, that that game against Gold Coast Knights, I was there, and you just you wouldn't have thought that turnaround could be possible. Uh, you know, yeah, eight, like was it two, eight, nine? Nine, 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 yeah, nine, nine, nine in the end. Yeah, there's no way that you think they'd come back for two wins on the trot. Have they got? Has the, the personnel changed at all? Do no, I don't think it has. Cato maybe? No, that's the weird thing. I don't think the team's really changed. Cato yeah. played, I think it was round three we played at Redlands. and we not Cato start every game? Cato no, played, he, he played Lance, on the he wing. Pretty sure he started on the wing. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, um, yeah it beat East at East too, like as you were saying. Mm. Do you reckon that's danger signs for East? <laughs> mm, I don't know. I think East have got, well, I mean, yes. Yeah, it has to be. And then they went and beat City. Yeah, that was as a, well. Mm. I mean, good before point. the Redlands game, they beat. Was City. it before the Redlands game they beat City? Pretty sure. I think mm-hmm. on their day they'll they'll trouble anyone with their UL and the AB up front. Yeah. Very quick. Just mm, in the it's that type of league, though, isn't it? Like yeah. if you don't turn up, I know it's a cliche, but if you don't turn, it up, is you true get though. Over, like, yeah. but it's a fact. Mm. Yeah. The same, probably the same the world over, like the English Premier League. If if Liverpool or Man City go to and I don't know the team of mm. shit in the mm. Premier League mm. Brighton but don't turn up and mm. Brighton have a, a good day they're going to get beat mm. yeah it, it happens so I suppose too with the Redlands like they're probably uh, already thinking this is danger for us so they're playing turned up the last two games thinking they were cup finals almost yeah and then look at Capella Bar like they had a few good wins a few good results at the start obviously that game against uh, Sunny Coast they mm. pulled back somehow I don't know how they managed that they did well but um if the league had gone ahead, that I think the next four strikers. rounds I had strikers long, uh, already played line strikers, Gold Coast Knights, 
um, and a few of those top power, yeah. I think, were one of the next ones mm. as well. So that would have been a big test for From all for reports, them. that um, Lions game could have been anything too. Yeah, I, well, yeah. It, they, uh, it was tough for Kipala. Well, they had, I think they had eight or nine senior players to pick from. So they brought a few oh. 20s in. Did well, I think there was just maybe a 10-15 to yeah. minute period where it sort of um, got away from them a bit. But mm. um, for the rest of that, yeah, I mean, they, they might have scored one or two as well and pinched a, a result. But yeah, the next sort of month or so would have been the big one for them. So mm. it'd be interesting to see how it goes if it does go ahead when yeah. it comes back. So mm. it definitely been some weird results, but yeah, <laughs> definitely. Mm. QPL as well. Mm. Same. Yeah, <laughs> Rhodes yeah, getting we turned we touched over. Earlier, early on about. Um, the Pride Rochdale, yeah, again, mm. yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, I wasn't there. Eh, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, <laughs> <laughs> no, I, was, oh, I don't know. Pride, they, same, exact same story. Pride turned up. We were n- still in the sheds, started both halves, and it really cost us yeah. in that game. I think from what we were sort of saying is there was a few players that hadn't played a couple of games for Pride yeah. that they dropped points in, which made a massive difference because their front three were. Fucking rapid as fuck. Yeah, like, even really like, cost us. Uh, really caused us a lot. Of at our level, the the result the week before can sometimes like fuck with your head. You know, so we they drew got, with fire. <coughs> we like, drew we with fire. Did, like, their result. Well, yeah, we they were, got smashed. By they got smashed by Southwest. Yeah. yeah. So right. we were sort of you know you, you like to think that you don't have that in you in your locker, but you just rock up and you think, oh, we'll do these. You know. Yeah. No yeah. excuse. Two 0 down after four. Yeah. I touched the ball twice with two kickoffs. Yeah, yeah. So. mate, you touched the ball more than me <laughs> in the first ten minutes. That was the only time I conceded two goals. Yeah, anyway. But yeah, it's a crazy league at the moment. Both, both. So who's looking good in the QPL? I know Logan at mm. three from three, but Logan at three from three. Yeah, um, pretty open South for the rest. Really, South, South, South Eagles are up, yeah. up the top. Like mm. they look like they've improved. Um, Surely they can't stay there. I mean, mm. it's no, hard to say as well think. until I everyone's think. played everyone. But yeah, I mean. I don't know who, what's going to happen in the season, but you generally everyone's pretty close the first round and then it sort of separates when mm. depth gets tested and, you know, whatnot. Yeah. Sort of that hype of the season just starting sort of wears off and everyone's got to get back into the grind mm-hmm. of it. I think Mitchie, Logan, I would say ourselves, Pride, Toowoomba. Mm. Yeah, Toowoomba's right up there as well. Toowoomba yeah. as well. Yeah. Like with, with, Tough road trip. With Rovers have played all the games away so far. Mm. They've been at home. All the way through. Even so like win them, well. win them away, tough place mm. to go, small pitch, pretty intense. It'd be interesting to see how Rip this switch. break affects most teams, where the players are doing stuff in it's Essentially in pre-season. Yeah, 100%. Really? Yeah. Mm. If, we, if we get going again, who knows? Yeah. It could be uh, who hits the ground running. Yeah. 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 Come back that first two weeks. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be massive, yeah. yeah. And only one up. Think oh, yeah, only one yeah, up too. Football yeah. Queensland really sprung that on everyone, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, what? When did that get announced? Like, did it? Get it didn't get announced. Didn't get didn't? announced, but it was in, in the fine print. I think Corden was saying, wasn't he? Well, it was there all along, apparently, but it was never made a big deal out of. So mm. no one really knew until recently. But mm. it is what it is. Yeah, got to yeah. win the league to go up. Simple as that. Yeah, well, we would have been playing each other. Last night I had yeah, the, last yeah, saw, yeah, last night with the magic of the cup. Yeah. We'd probably have been sat here now and I'd have been celebrating. Yeah. <laughs> your lads would have been licking you. Yeah, I'd been walking on, walking on crutches. <laughs> <laughs> Back would have been sore. <laughs> yeah. What do you, do you reckon the FFA Cup if do you reckon that could be the one thing that gets canned? I think so. I think well, it'll go. I think it will definitely funnily go. Funnily enough, my old side in Wollongong, they um all these changes that happened with the, the coronavirus, they come into play I think it was a Tuesday night or like midnight or whatever yep. it was. They still played their game at on seven thirty on Tuesday night in Sydney. Yeah. Like they still played, you mm. know. So, it, yeah, they're through the next round. But what's going to happen? Yeah. Gonna, if yeah. Yeah. Next so, what was the like? There's no real motivation for them to go there. Like, why are they? Why are the other team even wanted to play as well? Yeah. You know, knowing that they were the underdogs. But regardless, pretty crazy that strikers Capalaba didn't play. Yeah, mm. you know, same no, scenario. That was only called off the same day as well. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I mean, look. By the time this <clears throat> episode goes out mm. there might be more answers than questions yeah, but right. at this moment in time where we're speaking from uh, 14th of April you're about to training uh, 1st of May games can start mm. um, we don't know whether or not the games that are being missed are going to be replayed whether they're going to count as draws we, nothing's really come mm. out at this moment in time so you, you just kind of sat there going well fucking hell I hope we get to play a game of footy again this this year. Year. just be a shortened season just everyone you know as the season stands you just play each other once 
Mm. Just gotta sit here with and the sanitize. games already played, and then all the games have been draws, or no, because you know they what? start again and they just play. Well, yeah. Fuck, I know it's still a twenty games. The season. problem you got there is, um, it's like eleven games season or whatever. Yeah, right? I don't know. And it, look, yeah. I, I get it. Like everyone's in the same boat, but one of the weaker teams might win their first four games mm, fucking yeah. hell that all of a sudden they're in a title race that they never would have been yeah, in true. if you'd have took the first six games results yeah. yeah, because they'd lost let's say Redlands win the first four Yeah, they were well well and truly gone alright but all of a sudden they're in a title race that yeah. they should never have been in because yeah. they'd lost yeah. at the start of the year Like, and I'm not saying anything against Redlands could be Wanderers could be East could be anyone mm. you win four games you've got seven games left you yeah. probably think win five of these won the league mm. So, or maybe they just play the games and you just play, I don't know, Thursday, Sunday, or I don't know, like Wednesday, Saturday, I don't know. I'd be happy with that. Fucking hell. Would, you I, gotta, I, I'm not one of these English folk who but you talk are. about... Yeah, but I am. <laughs> um, who talk about how, you know, oh, we did it like this in England. Well, all I'm saying is back in England, you did play Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Wednesday, mm. almost the whole season. Mm. And then you also played a Sunday morning for your Sunday morning team and at the end of their season, you were playing Thursday nights and Friday nights to mm. get the season finished. There'd be some times in April, you'd be playing six or seven games a week. Do you know what I mean? Uh, I mean the intensity might drop a little bit, I, I, especially in I the Sunday so. games. You'd say <laughs> so, you not yeah, but, press, are you? but the, the fact of the matter is, like when people say to me, and I, I'll never forget, <clears throat> I was at North Star the first year I came across, and our coach, Darren Hesselton, he, he pulled us on the Saturday. He said, I'm leaving you out. I'm like, Fuck on what? <laughs> I was a senior player at the time. It was, you know, we relegation battle when I was. What? He went, We got a game on Wednesday night. I went, Keep yeah. you fresh for that one. So I said, Keep me for Wednesday night. I went, I said, Hesse, I play fucking five games a week back home. Yeah. Mm. I said, Two games a week it's not going to bother me. Um, and he was, Nah, we've got to keep you fresh. And, and I just thought, what a fucking backward thing to think. Mm. But, you know, the more as it goes on. Now as a coach, me and Philip are talking about leaving players out on a Wednesday because they've got to be right for the Saturday. And I have to sometimes pinch myself and think, what the I used to play for As a player, play, you, you yeah. want to play. You know, you'd yeah. rather play than train. If well, you're not, if you're not fit, you'll say, oh, look, I can't play. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. A Saturday, be right. Saturday, yeah. Wednesday game is a, a Saturday, Wednesday, Wednesday is a massive. Tuesday, Thursday training. Yeah. Give me the yeah. game. Mm. Sunday, just, Thursday. If Monday, it has to be yeah. midweek, 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 rest, midweek, midweek, rest, so be it. Yeah, 100%. Well, as we were saying, like the QPL's got a thousand fucking catch up weekends anyway, <laughs> yeah. so it will be yeah. sweet. Yeah. The yeah. NPL might. Mm, uh, that's saying that it goes back on many. the first We haven't got many. Mm. No, no, but that's what I'm saying. Like mid-week the NPL's going to be a struggle unless mm. they go midweek. But The problem we got is Mackay. Mm. you can't play Mackay on a Tuesday night I mean an Olympic got to play them on a Tuesday night last year yeah they did they had to fly them down midweek fly Mackay down Mackay came down midweek and played a game and oh, got fucking battered oh I actually yes I do um, know that result but and it sounds like alright yeah get them to come down yeah what happens if you have to go up mm. all of a sudden you're yeah, going no, up there five men down yeah because they can't get off work yeah. yeah and then it becomes a a bit of a shit fight yeah. especially when there's really drop points the line, up there right. and then you turn on and say we shouldn't have had a goal then a Tuesday night no. yeah that's I suppose so that one as shooting. well if you talk about playing a season where everyone plays everyone wants it's like the teams that have to travel to Mackay to play there as opposed Versus to the teams, the teams who don't have to travel mm. yeah but I guess luck of the draw but yeah it'd be interesting anyway mm. as we're saying this one will probably go out to two and a half weeks time answers might be out by there yeah. but Hopefully. um Hopefully, yeah. Yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, so look, we haven't got a great deal to talk about because the season's only early on, mm. uh, and this this virus has kind of mm. took a little bit of the, the window out the sails. Still. But we have got a red ball in the middle of the, the table, Nabby. If you want to pull a question out, let's have a bit of fun. Fucking uh, Nab. So who's this going out to? Anyone or everyone? We'll all answer. I think. All right. Plenty there. In a movie about you and the person to your left. Oh, we've, we, this one went right, back we in? Do, we can do it. We can do it. Oh, no, this one didn't have an answer. In a movie about you and the person to your left, which actor plays you both? <laughs> All right, so let's start with you. So yeah. you, then yeah. TC. You. Then TC gets to pick his, Ooh. and then Dusty. Dusty oh, gets to pick right. his. Christ. Me. Well, it has to be you, really. We'll probably look 
So you're, I'm playing you yeah. in the movie? Yeah, you're playing me. <laughs> yeah. so I think you can probably grow out the ginger beer. Oh, yeah, Eddie gets a bit of a ginger beer. Going too, all, right. Right. Ginger. Yeah. Yeah. all right. No, hey, I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I've got the ginger. I've got the ginger. It might have to be a battle royale between you two, Bob. I might give you the none. You can you can go somewhere famous as well. Yeah, it's oh, you can go somewhere famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, like right. an actual actor. <laughs> yeah, actual yeah. actor. Far out. Um, Who's playing you? David Beckham can't act, but I'd love him to play me. <laughs> you know, he's been in a few movies, surely. Yeah, he's you know, surely he has to go in there. Um, it's not going to be a great movie, but you can um, you can have him. Who's playing you? Matthew McConaughey, that has to be Benny. <laughs> oh, that's burnt Benny. Massive. It hasn't burnt us because he's going to say Matthew McConaughey. I was not going to say that. Well, I'm going to say it about me. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. Sure. Um, all right, all right. Who's, who's playing me? <laughs> yeah. Who's playing me in a movie? Mm. Put that damn tongue away, Tom. <laughs> I'm going to go Channing Tatum. <laughs> oh, wow. That should have been yours. Yeah, should have been yours. Really and who's it. playing Dust? <laughs> oh, here we go. Channing Tatum's... Child. The alien off American Dad. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Roger? Is that him? Dusty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me, is it? Who um, who played Eric off Entourage? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know the actor. That would probably be me. Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, Benny. Sean Bean. Yeah, I, actually, when I was younger, one of the... Uh, and the girls went off the boat with her the time <laughs> and said that her mum had said there was a Sean Beanness about <laughs> right. her son. Well, I'm um, glad we see Ida yeah. Ida. Uh, well, me, obviously, the, the McConaughey thing's yeah. always gone. It's always going to be thrown at us. Um, <laughs> like it's a bad thing. Yeah. 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 Uh, nah, Sean Bean's probably not a bad one, like rugged, you know. Yeah. Um, Girl uh, missile around, apparently. Uh, mm. <laughs> so, like, yeah. Mm. Um, I reckon Nubby. Maybe Conor McGregor. Look, Probably he's not an actor, but yeah. you know Seamus the wrestler. Seamus. That old ginger, ginger beard you got going on. Mate, it gets I reckon he could act. I mean, yeah. he's, in, he's in entertainment. Entertainment. Yeah. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah. Ginger beard. Let's go. Happy days. Yeah. yeah. Um, TC, do you want to pick one up? <coughs> yeah, I'll pick one out. I think he's preconceived this one. Really, hasn't he? He's, he's had that. If you weren't doing your current job, what would slash could you have ended up doing? <laughs> um. What's your current job first for the listeners? I'm an electrician there? by trade. Yeah. Do you want to plug them at all? Or? Um, no, because I might want to plug my own business <laughs> coming down the track, you know. Like, I might be going out on my own, you know. Um, Same, we've got sponsorship deals. We can, uh, what would I be doing? That is really good. I'd like to be maybe like a poker player. Oh, yeah? Professional? Yeah, professional yeah. poker player. Mm. Can't play poker very well, but I reckon that'd be a pretty cool job. Pretty cool. Yeah. Mm. I was going to go down the path of a professional punter as well, but not so much poker. Just... Um, Ponies, yeah. Ponies. Mm. yeah. Judging by that tip in our uh, in our group out the other week. Oh, what about the week before though? Well, so the week before that, yeah. No, that's right. Cheap we'll thousand play. bucks. One no one worries. Two. It works, mm. lads. Yeah. Fifty percent. Yeah. Going back to the um, <laughs> Don't know. Probably is the front man in a boy band or something like that. <laughs> Ronan. <laughs> yeah, Ronan. Oh, well, actually. Ronan. <laughs> been you you said it, lads. You said it. Yeah, front man in a boy band. Mm. <laughs> Go on there. Well, well, I'm a salesman by trade, so I would love to be, obviously, footballer would be all probably say that's probably first yeah. and foremost, but maybe something to do for like Nike. I love Nike. Always rocking it, so maybe something. You do rock it as well. Yeah, I do. You I do, do rock. I've got nothing else in my Wear the shit so. out of that Nike. Mate, yeah. you know, so wouldn't wear anything else, so yeah, that'd probably be something to do with Nike. Yeah. Some sort of endorsement. I just don't have to do Dusty. anything. <sighs> what would you be, Zander? CEO of a Fortune 500 company. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd be Harvey Specter for sure. Would you? Yeah. Hmm? Harvey Weinstein. I just want to wear a suit to work every day. Yeah, you'll you'll, you'll get sick of that real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Dust. Uh, Messi or CR7? Oh, this is a big one. This is a big this one. Is big. This is a big See, one. See, this yeah. is a and tough one. I've got, got state wide. I've got an analogy on this one. Ooh. I'll, I'll Can't throw wait it out there. <laughs> Go on, Dustin. It's very Dustin. difficult because Messi, so much talent, obviously, won everything except for the World Cup. Ronaldo, though, hardest work, must be the hardest working player of us. Well, we've probably ever seen. Mm. For me, purely because of the um, the work rate, the longevity, and 
the will to to work to win is Ronaldo for me. Do you want me an analogy now? Go on. All right. So I'll throw this out there. Let's hope I can get this right. So you got two jobbies. Mm. Okay, you got one. Now you're speaking my language, better. <laughs> <All right. laughs> One's Justin. So you, you got one who has probably won Jockey of the Year five times. Here we um, uh, Frankie de Tori. Always in Australia, just very consistent, you know, so much better than everyone else. Wins it every year. Usually goes with the same trainer, um, same horses, mm. same owners. Mm. Then you got this other jockey who has, has also won Jockey of the Year, but he's only won it four times. Mm. But he's done it in different countries and he's won it for all kinds of trainers. The all second one's Ronaldo, horses. by the way. Mm. <laughs> all kinds of horses. <laughs> all right, who's a better jockey? Mm. I'll ask you the question. Uh, I, a or B? I, is B the one that's been cruising around the world, obviously, getting stuck in? B. I'd Doing it around the world, yeah. different, um, like different, test himself in different yep. environments. Benny selected. So I'm saying different Ronaldo. horses. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm a greens. And that's yeah. a great analogy there, Benny. Yeah. That is a very good well analogy. I, I think if you've done it in different leagues, let's be real, Barcelona, Messi will never leave because that team's just built around him. And it's not to say that he's probably got more skill than Ronaldo ever has. I think he has. But I think he has. Ronaldo is just, he's relentless in trying to challenge himself in different mm. countries, different leagues. You gotta remember like, say for instance, like you've just come across now, getting uh, used to us players, let alone hit the formations and everything like that, that's a big thing, you know? And like at Juventus where Ronaldo's gone, you see him getting quite frustrated sometimes because it's not been the same at Real where they just give him the ball and you know, go on, have a shot here or whatever. It's completely different to other team and you've got to get used to the team, the league, I so think for me, it's he won yeah, a national, very, he won a trophy with Portugal. That's what yeah, I was going to say. Very he's international, players. and that team, his Portuguese side, has never been as good as Me- no. Messi's Argentina side. You know, but look he, at the Messi's, tools. Yeah, Messi said himself, like without him, Barcelona goes on as mm. per normal. Mm. Without Barca, he's nothing. Mm. With Ronaldo, like without the teams he's left, mm. I mean the teams without him that he's left, they've. Not falling apart. Well, dropped off. They've never been the same. Yeah. 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 And everywhere he's gone, he's been successful. Yeah. And he's he's got same. a big influence on his national team too. Mm. But you look at the tools that Ronaldo has at national team level compared to what Messi has at national team yeah. level. Like it's chalk and cheese, really. And he seems to perform. Get, he seems to get the best out of those players. He makes the team. Know? It makes yeah. the players around him a better player. Yeah. You know, yeah. As well. yeah. And and I think the thing that proved that was the Euro final when he didn't when he, he went down injured. injured. Yeah. He, he didn't play for most of that game. They no. still coaching through him. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. He was kicking every ball. I yeah. think Ronaldo, as we like, pretty much it, all of us have said, he's like a guy that you could probably like, like you know, if my if my son growing up wants to play football and you have the two of them, the comparisons, you can tell Ronaldo's had to work really, like they're not, mm. they've both had to yeah. work really, really hard because mm. you don't become that good without <laughs> working really hard. But you can see Ronaldo's had to work one's, harder. One's, well, he's had to uh, change his position. One's man made, yeah, and one is God given, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. Messi is God God-given given, talent. yeah. Yep. Ronaldo you made can, himself. You can tell. So how's the week been, boys? Up to much? Staying indoors. Staying indoors, are you? Keeping Keep isolated. Around. Keeping that isolation. Just trying to uh, sell a house, mate. And Ooh. it's a uh, bad time. Yeah, mm. nightmare. Mr. Sell Team, maybe. No, it's not. Josh and Jake and the boys. It's not. Um, but I'm beginning not? to wish I had gone with Mr. Mm. Sell Team, Probably to be should honest. Have. Yeah. I know they're backed by the uh, the fastest growing real estate brand Freedom. in the country, in the marketing. Freedom it's Property Group, I believe. You yeah. know a bit about Market real estate, don't you, Doss? Oh, I know a little bit about it, yeah. No. I probably would have gone with Mr. Cell Team if, yeah. if I was you, but... Well, the thing is as well with them, I'm kick myself now because I know that the attention to detail is 100% spot on. Um, they'll go above and beyond to get a result for you. Um, if you've got a property and you want a tenant, they can probably tell you get one. Did I'm you know that? At least that they'll too. sell. They'll find you something to buy. Yeah. Really? That's what I've heard. They pretty much do everything, mate. I didn't but know that. I just... I didn't know all that. So now, like, it's, now it's too late. I've gone with someone else. How was that experience? I don't think it was as good as if I went with myself. <laughs> I'm, being I'm honest. sure Joshy and Jake and the boys will get you no, sorted. Yeah. They'll be waiting in the wings in case that one. So look, well, I think what I would say is, if anyone is in the market mm. looking to sell, looking to buy, looking to to rent, hit up the Mister Sell team, Josh Sherwood, Jake Sherwood, any of the boys, mm. and uh, I'm sure they'll help. You can tell that he's just worked, he's just dedicated his whole life to it. And 
Have you seen that motherfucker jump for a header? Oh, yeah, it's ridiculous. Oh my lord! Yeah, like he is a freak of nature. And the rig, and the rig, great rig. Yeah, the rig. And let's be real, he's sponsored by Nike. Yeah? So, yes. You know what? I'm, the box I'm for actually surprised we got a four out of four. There. Yeah, it's, mm. normally, it's normally it's normally, it's normally nah. I'd say sixty forty yeah. to yeah. the Messi. I have this deba- debate a lot. Xander, are you yeah. five out of five? five. Well, wow. Very rarely get that. <laughs> yeah, true. He yeah. Yeah. He's done it at the biggest clubs in the. That's why you've went. It's a gold. Shout out Clinton and Blob, who I always fight about. This is a beauty, by the way. This is a beauty. Who'd be your guests at a dead or alive dinner party? Oh, you man. and three others. Oh, fuck. Yeah, man. Tough one. This gets asked a bit, and I yeah, always think, that's gonna... a good question, I never answer it. Yeah, me do. Mm. That is a good one. Um, I actually um, I actually wrote oh, actually. all those questions. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a little bit of time so to you thought of reflect that. on this one. <laughs> um, no, look, the, there's, there's two answers to this. Uh, you can go the serious route, then you can go the... So the, the, the root where it's like let's really think about celebrities and stuff mm. like that genuinely if I was given that as a you're being given a wish mm. you can it's been granted you're going to do what you want three people at a dinner table um, whatever so me personally I'd take me dad me mum me brother because me dad died when I was young mm. so for me that would be the perfect four on the table um, but for the purposes of what we're doing it's mm. not quite there mm. um, Johnny Depp would be around my table. Mm. I think great actor, but just a, like just a cool fucker mm. <laughs> and a bit weird. Mm. I think I think he'd be great. Strange. Uh, Michael Jackson mm. would probably be my musical. Even though you wrote Jacko off a little bit, I didn't write him off. I just said I'd rather have uh, Whitney, Whitney singing. Right. Mm. right. Um, so I'd have Jackson around there. Just lots of questions I'd like to ask Did Michael. Call. Yes. You know what I mean? Well, I'd really sure. like to ask Mike a few questions just <laughs> well, to get the bottom of Plenty of people whether you'd like the answers or not. <laughs> <laughs> um, don't take your Show me on this doll. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and then I think it would have to be someone from the, the sporting world. Mm. So maybe someone like Muhammad Ali. Ooh. You know, just like, yeah. again, just charismatic and full of life. So, yeah. Mm. How they'd all get on together is another question. Doesn't I think, matter, does yeah. it? No, it doesn't matter. No. No. So, <laughs> Abby? Uh, far out Michael Jordan 100% um, I have to say Conor McGregor just because he'd be a good laugh surely and he'd, he'd get the party started pretty good chat, uh, and table. then someone a bit left field well not really that left field but watched the movie last night with the, the other guys Mark Wahlberg oh, I just think Wahlberg. Wahlberg's, yeah, I like Wahlberg. Wahlberg's See, a legend eh? yeah, so how that good would that be you know yeah, what I mean? who, who plays who in the movie yeah. and you're on my left Wahlberg was you yeah so. really so he loves to get his kid off. Right, you know what? Yeah. Nabby's got a bit of Boston about him, hasn't he? Yeah, he does. Eh? Yeah, got a Boston. bit of Boston about him. Do my first desk pop. <laughs> <laughs> but those three, surely that would be yeah. pretty interesting, you know. That, even a lion be in the ocean? I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Have you <laughs> seen the other guys, but? Yeah. yeah. How good is it, eh? When he walks in, he's like... <laughs> when he walks in, he's like... Bye, Sheila. <laughs> he's walks, he's like, if you, if you were with me, you wouldn't have to be in it... Um, you're shaking your ass with dollar bills. <laughs> Get on ballet. Shit. Gators bitches better be wearing jimmies. <laughs> Actually, I, yeah. I reckon now that you've jogged my memory about mm. that, I reckon I'd get Will Ferrell yeah, as, as, as one good. of my guests. Mm. Well, it's your turn, bro. Uh, well, it is my turn. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to say Will Ferrell. Okay, there we so go. So there's one. Yeah, yeah. there's one. <laughs> Sorted. <sighs> Shame Warn. Oh, Warnie. Oh, Warnie. Yeah. Spin doctor. Have a swipe together. I probably should have got him on mine. Paul Gascoigne. Gascoigne. Gaza. Great crack. Mm. Why not? Great crack. Why not? Paul Gascoigne, <laughs> um, late 80s, early 90s, <sighs> or not now, sure? No, nah, not, not now. Shame yeah. away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, back in the heyday, I reckon he would have had some really good stories to mm. tell. Yeah, I'm happy with that three. Making me want to change my arm. Because yeah. I reckon Warnie would have some pretty good stories too. <laughs> Shit, sure. yeah. Real good stories. Sure. Uh, yeah. mm. Liz yeah. Hurley. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And we'll fell for the laughs. Yeah. You know? I don't know. Yeah, you cool. wonder whether they'd be as funny they tell in you real life or whether they're <laughs> I reckon, like a sap. You, you know, know comedians like you think, oh, do you reckon so I reckon Will Ferrell still be funny. Yeah, yeah fuck yeah. 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 Shit shit. Dust. Speaking of comedians, I'd have Jerry Seinfeld. Mm. That's my number one. I was tossing up Ricky Gervais, but I'll leave I'll leave Ricky. I'll go Michael Jordan as well. Just cause Stent house with loves his golf, loves mm. his cigars. Mm. Legend. Um who's my third? I would say George Best. 
Best thing. Uh, for the stories he would have. Mm. Plenty of drink around that table. Yeah. Loves his piss, mm. the women, all that sort of stuff. And I never got to see him play, obviously, but everyone who did, best player they've ever seen. So My uncle actually played against him a couple of times. Um, he, he played pro at a reasonable level. Um, and he played against best a couple of times. And he said, since you could have played George Best, uh, centre half, right back, left wing, centre mid, centre forward, anywhere on the field, and he would still have been world class. He said, when you watch videos, you just see the skill where he's going in and out mm. and plays. He said, but he was tough as guts, mm. great in the air, read the game well, he got past. He like, just said he had everything, well, could yeah, have played him anyway. I was talking to my father in law about him because he saw him play when they came across yeah. with United to play against Queensland. and all that sort of shit they used to do. So best dribbled to the byline, like beat a bunch of players, dribbled to the byline, waited till they came back, dribbled back through them to score. Like just waited for them just to take the piss out of them again and then yeah. go and score. So he was, you know when you talk about mavericks in football, like where you Someone you who just, is a bit of a you, maverick. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Someone who says that. <laughs> where, where you watch them and you just think, this is like, it's not even football, this, mm. is, just, this is like cool. Yeah. Mm. It's like James Dean playing football or something. Mm. George Best was that kind of mm. maverick. There's not much of that in the professional game now. It's not it's not so it's so it gets so washed serious, up very yeah. quick. If you're a bit of a twat off the field. Maybe like a Jamie Vardy. He's probably... Like I mean, he's not real even. cool or real sexy, <laughs> but he's sort of... He's definitely not sexy. He's not <laughs> sexy, but he's sort of like <laughs> that, you know, Looks that like Red Bull and... Uh, it reminds you of something like Mount Druid or something. They eh? like that really. <laughs> he looks a bit like you. Yeah. <laughs> and he Sexy. misses the grass, too. Well, then, no, we'll go one more round. One more round each. I want a good one here, lads. Oh, all right. Spice Girls, marry, shag, or kill. I can't even remember, but I remember <laughs> the blonde one. I was full into her for sure. So that's baby. That's baby. Baby Spice. I'm all over yeah, this. Baby, baby Spice baby. I was into. So you'd um, marry? Or you'd... Oh, I don't know. She's probably not married to Chile. She's a bit of... oh, I don't know. I don't know. She's... Well, I don't want to get in my right. answer. I think she's the most marriage material. Is she? I'm fucking changing my mind now. Um, marry, Michael yeah. Michael Jackson we'll, in the babies and stuff. We'll say, mar- we'll say marry and we'll say shag posh just because obviously when Bex is at the dinner table with me, I can let him know how she's doing. <laughs> <laughs> Eskimo brother. Um, kill. Oh, fuck, that sporty swash. She was, yeah, wasn't she's, into yeah. her. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, mm. that's me. Tough one, isn't it? Yeah, mm. I fuck. It's hard to remember. Can't say I'm really around. Yeah, I know. Um, if it makes it easy, if any ginger you boys, you can use One Direction. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, Mary. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that makes no, it way more go. difficult, if yeah. anything. You'd, be, you'd like Ginger Spice, I reckon. I reckon. Jerry, that's a bit of you. She's married to. Uh, I've been watching that F1. Yeah, the F1. Yeah, the F1. Yeah, Red right. Bull team driver. Red, uh, Bull. Red Bull. What do they call him? What manager? I guess. Owner, uh, yeah, not owner, but yeah, he's the manager. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna get left. I'm gonna. I'm gonna marry Mel B. Yeah. yeah Scary. Not? Scary. Oh, Scary. Yeah. Why not? Punishment. Mm. You know. Mm. Seems like a nice guy. from Leeds, isn't you? Yeah. <laughs> that's that's his reason. Yeah. Um, <laughs> shag. What's this next shag. one? Shag. Marry shag. Kill. Yeah. Go on, ginger. Shag. Yeah. Why not? Makes it. Kill. See if it lines up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Kill's got to be po- uh, not posh. Um, sporty. Oh. Yeah. She's yeah. a punish. No. <laughs> Absolute punish. Dust. <laughs> mm. Uh, ginger can go. Mm. So you, she's ginger. So can do. Can, can go. You want to kill her? Or you yeah, she's gone. Yeah. So you're going backwards through the. Yeah. What's that's next? Right. That's yeah. not the order, but that's okay. Yeah, that's no, good. remix. Oh. What's the order then? Oh, we'll marry, nah. shag, kill, but you'll marry, kill, shag, yeah. marry. Marry, posh. Yeah. Take a half. Shag. Go sporty. Make it interesting. Yeah. Yeah, hey, why not? What? Go sporty spice. So what was he doing at sporty? Shag. Well, I'm not going. I'm not going to. But. <laughs> it's not fun to say. Well, I, well, I you're thinking, just saying that because we've been there. I was thinking posh, but I'd rather marry her and take her half. So, mm. Mm. all right, mm. um, marry Kirby. Mm. Dependable. Um, <laughs> it's like yeah. he knows her, eh? She's studying these questions. Um, yeah, respectful. She's, uh, well, you're right, good you're as right gold. <laughs> you know, good girl. Um, <laughs> Shay. It's either Mel B or Ginger. Mm. You would shag Ginger, would you? <laughs> Actually, let's get a shot at her. Yeah, Mel B. Mm. And then before or kill. after Jenny Craig? <laughs> Either. We're talking Either this one, <laughs> Either. Um, And honestly, 
let's kill Posh. Yeah, let's let let's let have a few fair. mates out with yeah. the lads. That's yeah. I know some stories. I know it's I got some inside gloss about Bex. Well, we'll, right, we'll, we'll tell, tell it after. Air. We'll tell off it off air. Off air. Yeah. It's pretty saucy actually. Mm, okay. Yeah. Saucy. Mm. Oh fuck me. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> what? Warren Moon or Scott McNichol? Ooh. What? What? Like. Well, to coach, person, kiss, person. kiss, kiss, person. Shag, person. marry, kill. Can we yeah. bit them both? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, you can't. Nah, okay. Uh, um, so, well, this is a pretty simple one for you, surely. Mm. Yeah, I'll go McNichol. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mooney's boring, boring as. <laughs> Plus, Scott gets me to do some work in his house, so. Does <laughs> he pay for that? Not well. Not well at all. <laughs> Dust. Oh, uh, moon. Moon, Moon, friend of the show. Yeah, okay, fair enough. And well, this is real tough for me. Mm. Yeah, and I'll tell you why. I speak to Mooney probably on a daily basis. Oh, um, friends, oh, friends. <laughs> Facebook friends. Um, <laughs> but I actually, um, I've got Scott Minical's dog. Oh, that's right. You took on took on Holly. Yeah. So I've got his husky. I did hear I've, that story. Yes, yeah, so I've had that. But they've replaced the, the the dog. They've well, got I, another dog. Well, I've got Holly for the past year, um, and she's just one like of the a, family. Just a lion spell. <laughs> so this is kind of like I'm I'm really torn here. Like yeah. so. <clears throat> oh, is Didn't it, it bite one of your kids though? <laughs> twice. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> twice. But it was my kid's fault. She stepped on. Ah, oh, fair enough. That. Yeah. Um, yeah. For that, for the very reason that Holly's part of my family. Yeah. yeah. I've got to take Scott. Mm. I'm sorry, Warren. Mm. Really take, take the guy that binned his, binned his dog and got another <laughs> dog. Yeah. Well, can't say I've had that much to do with Mooney, but um, if Scotty tells you one more time about that goal he scores... You know, <laughs> Against Sullivan. Yeah. Give it up, mate, you reckon? This is a shout-out to Scotty if you listen. Talk Been about it. that goal one more time, mate. I'm going to have to go Mooney, but I'll go Scotty for now. He's not listening <laughs> anyway. He's just... Uh, he's just happy to get annoyed. Dust, we got two more. <laughs> two more. Favourite meal and drink? Oh, easy for me, isn't it? Easy it is. it's Protein. Almost, it's almost the same thing. Protein shake. Protein shake. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Favourite meal? I'd say some some sort of authentic wood-fired Italian pizza. Mm. Goes a long way with me. Mm. Favourite drink? Guinness. Easy. All right. Uh, Indian. Chicken madras, egg peel rice, keema naan, papa doms. Cheek kebab starter. Um, I felt like you were just making words up there. <laughs> <laughs> Are you that's rapping at us? Yeah, yeah. 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 Number. Uh, <laughs> real rap roll. <laughs> get him, get him, get him drop. Uh, red wine. Nine bars. Red wine. And uh, if I'm being specific, mm. you mean Pacific? <laughs> I think you mean Pacific. <laughs> you mean Pacific? I'll uh, I'll go with a Pinot Noir. Okay. Right. So. Uh, um, Far too sexy for you, that's under. Yeah. Yeah. How's yeah. that go the next day? Uh, honestly, good. Um, I, I'm all right with Indian food. I'd say spicy food might go the other way, but <laughs> Indian food, like, are we, I've, are we talking spicy? You know, when you've built an immunity to Indian yeah, yeah. food, yeah. I'm all right with it. Especially like, we're talking English. Matt Boyd spicy. <laughs> butter chicken. Oh, butter chicken. <laughs> Trace, this butter chicken's got pepper on it, I swear. <laughs> 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 It's a, it's a tough one here because I, I'm a big pizza fan like yourself. Um, I've been in the acai bowls lately, eh? Hey? They're not bad. Could you like, have one for I've, dinner, though? Well, well I mean, you can have it whenever you want. Yeah, you could. All right, look, if it's uh, your last meal, yeah. 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 Well, you're on death so, roll. Yeah. What's your last meal? What's your last meal? You know, have right. it yeah. I'm, I'm going to have an acai bowl. I'm going to have to go a meat lovers pizza, surely. Yeah. Um, Drink-wise, far out. I've been into these bang energy drinks. They're fucking unbelievable. Yeah. I'm not a big beer drinker, so it doesn't really phase me. So yeah, probably one I of love the energy drinks, but I don't. What's we'll the sort of word? Discriminate. I'm gonna go the favorite. I'm gonna go scotch. Nice scotch mm. on the rocks. Mm. Doesn't really matter what. Just a good one. And I'm gonna go last meal. Lasagna. Basic, nice. but lasagna. Lasagna can lasagna. never. I think a good lasagna goes a long way. Mm. Um, well, for my uh, Greek friends, moussaka. Mrs. makes a good <laughs> moussaka. Shite. Shite. Oh, Benny, you're the one that wrote these. <laughs> Shite. Shite. Last couple. Make sure we get a good one. Um, win the league or win the grand final? League. For league. Easy. League. 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 Oh, nice one. Oh. We've had this earlier. Oh, yeah. Former teammate you'd most like to punch. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
fuck, I've had some teammates that I fucking mm. can't stand. Eh? Oh, <laughs> fuck, I've got one. Definitely. Go on, say it. Yeah, you can go around. Who's that dude at East that come? Gekic. 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 <laughs> 100%. Gans <laughs> down. Him or... Um, does anyone remember Michael Gilarakis? No? No. no okay. Maybe. I feel like you're just saying few. words now. I'm making words up. <laughs> <laughs> now, Michael G. Larakis, for maybe some older listeners, uh, he was a bit of a pest. Come to Raiders, went to Strikers. Um, but, um, yeah, that Gekic, man. He was Gekic. a piece Just of work. Bit of punish. Can you come back to me? Unbelievable. Yeah, he was a punisher. I would love to punch him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd probably run straight after because he had some pretty heavy... Heavy, heavy mates, yeah. yeah. Really sick. Mm. Dust go to you. I need some more time. <laughs> oh, Surely it's I've got same. that many as well. I can't mm. reach him, though, so... Uh, yeah, look, it's a tough one, isn't it? I, I, yeah. I'm struggling to think of... I didn't play with that many bad guys. Mm. I mean, Gekic, I was with Gekic as mm. well, but... Who do you reckon, Xander? Probably Stewie Edgar. Stewie Edgar? Yeah. yeah. Well, Did I, you play with Stewie Edgar? Uh, played against him. I played against him all... Is it because he called you fat that time? No, <laughs> he calls <laughs> he calls Stu fat. fat. And oh, I, I, I him told him fat. to eat a burger because when I scored that goal when we beat Dogs at Logan... He said to me, I'll see you at the bottom of the goal scorers ranks. So, oh. We just beat her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know Bad what? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to take this one for you, Big Z. But he's nice. I don't add him to his charity when he did his shoulder. No, yeah, the that was surgery his fault. he didn't have. Yeah. My yeah, fault, look, yeah. I played with Stu and I can vouch for that, so I'll probably punch him in the face as well. Mm. Yeah, sweet. Shit. A fat Poor. bastard. <laughs> mm. This is a tough one, that. Look, you played or coached. That's tough for you. Played or coached. A lot of players. <laughs> Would have been. A few. Um, there's plenty of players I've played with back wall, um, but you wouldn't know them, mm. uh, and and I'd probably be quite high on a list back wall as well. <laughs> to be fair, so yeah. Do you need us to hold anyone's hands behind their back so you <laughs> can get a punch uh, away? Apparently, I'm pretty good at that. You so are good at that. Be all right. mm. Fuck, I'm really struggling to think of one, eh? Because there's a few. Mm. I'm not going to say any just in case I get proper in trouble. Should be easy. Should be one. I like to. This is. I. I like him, but I'd like to punch Sam Fellows. (laughs) (laughs) I do like him. I just. That's fair. He's got a real punchable face. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Sam Fellows, come at me. (laughs) But I do like you. (laughs) So don't come at me too hard. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Good. Um. All right. Well. We've chatted shit for long enough. I think. <laughs> yeah, um, I think so. All day, the aircon. Time, time, time to sanitise. I think. Um, we'll sanitise. We'll go. Isolate. And, uh, yeah, self-isolate. Xander will do a lot of work. We'll super get good. these episodes out. This, this will be out by this time next year. We're not yeah. painting because he's been doing his assignment all day. <laughs> <laughs> so hey. Um, but yeah, it's been well, on the flip too. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Thanks for coming in, everyone. Um, it's obviously been quite an enjoyable day actually we yeah. had some nice pizzas as well no, really no, good we, pizzas yeah. we do like a pizza don't yeah. we yeah. Yeah. So they were wood fire too is that where you yeah. got the that's yeah, yeah mm. maybe, a, maybe a side bar's next I don't know just put it out there no yeah. we'll yeah. do a breakfast no, we'll show see. we'll see we'll Tommy, see Tommy Ross 3am <laughs> Byron Bay but, uh, that's for another time too <laughs> yeah but uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll reconvene we'll come back with uh, a couple of guests I think yep. and uh, yeah we'll see you next time hopefully we don't get stood up no. Mm. Hopefully we've got yeah. a guest. Hopefully we don't get corona. Coronavirus. Mm. Stay All safe, right. everyone. Stay safe, everybody.